How to make a two-player ping-pong in Scratch First, let's add the ball. After that, set the size to 80. Now, let's make the ball move. First, add when green flag is clicked. After that, let's create a forever loop. Then, point in direction 45. And move 15 steps. Then, if on edge, bounce. Now we can see that the ball bounces all over the screen. Now you can change the background if you want to, but it is not necessary. Now let's create our players. I'm making a red and a blue player. You can duplicate the first player and just change the color to blue. After that, let's put the players to their positions and also change their direction to 180. Now we need to make the players to move. You can choose the moving keys yourself. For the first player, I'm using the key A to move up. and key D to move down. Now we can see that the first player moves when the keys are pressed. Now we can just copy the code to player two. But we need to change the keys. For the second player, I'm using the arrow keys. Let's test the second player. Now we need to create two variables that contains the player's scores. You can double click the variable in the screen to make it big. After that, you can put them wherever you want. I'll put mine close to the middle. At the start, let's set the scores to zero. Then, create a second forever loop. Now let's make it so that when the ball touches a player, the ball will bounce back. So, if touching sprite 1 or sprite 2. Also let's add some randomness to the bounce, so that the ball does not always go to the same place. Then move 15 steps. and wait 0 0.5 seconds. Now, when a player hits the ball, the ball will bounce back. Now, let's add the score system. The logic is that whenever the ball is past the player, the other player gets a point. After a point, let's put the ball back to the middle and change the player's score by 1. Now we can just copy the code and only change the x position and the variable. Here is the finished game. If this was helpful please like and subscribe.